Do. Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com, and welcome to part two of designing a character in Toon Boom Harmony. So if you haven't seen where we've gone so far, go ahead and check the video that's right before this one. And there's also a link in the description. So what I was working on is trying to build a character that's pretty easy to manipulate. And um, if I was going to do a series on my own, um, how would I actually create a character or characters that I could animate about two to three minutes, uh, a two to three minute episode, let's say weekly, or maybe even like a one minute episode if you're doing something like for instant Instagram or something like that. So what I want to do in this particular episode is go ahead and we've got sketch done. We did lines. I want to show you how to break this up into layers. And at the same time, I'm going to answer a question that, um, I should have answered about, well, I should have answered a couple of weeks ago, but I'd like to answer, when possible, I'd like to answer with um, with video. Um, Eddie Barnes asks, hey, Tony Teach, I have Harmony Essentials. Every time I set up the lip sync, I can't see the mouth, or the mouth of the child or the head, and even tried using the bring forward and bring to front, the mouth is still behind the head. Can you help, please? Okay. So in theory, even though I haven't seen Eddie set up, I'm going to answer a couple of those questions in this episode. Uh, so these are my lines right now, but I'm gonna go in and start breaking things apart. Uh, for instance, the mouth. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that. Let me see if I can bring on my, I'm using a, if anyone actually does tutorials or screencasts. If you're on a Mac, I have a program called Mouse Pose, and I just turned that on so you can actually see my commands. So that being said, I'm going to do Command X, Control X on PC. Let's try it again. Let's grab the mouse. X for cut. Let's Control X on PC. And I'm going to add a new layer. I'm going to call this Mouse. I'm calling it mouths because, well, that'll come up later. And I'll go ahead and add. I'm going to add a nose layer while I'm here. Add. And let's do a left eye. Add. And a right eye. Add. And I should probably do an ear. I'm not going to do too much for today. Let's do add and close. Okay. So the deal is when you're working with cutout or limited animation, anything that you want to move needs to have its own layer. Now, we initially did mouse, so I'm going to go to that layer, and I'm going to simply paste Command-V. And if, you've, if you're working with a program, let's say, like, uh, flash, if you're doing this, this you, it kind of works in the same way. You can do cutout animation. But that being said, one of the things I love about Toon Boom, working in Toon Boom versus working in Flash, if I cut something and then do paste in Toon Boom, it's going to paste it pretty much exactly where it was. Flash, you're going to have to do a different command and do paste in place. Okay? So I'm going to go back down to the lines layer. Let's grab the nose. Cut, Command X, go to the nose layer, and paste, Command V. And the left eye, let's go to the lines. Let's see. I think that's on the left. How am I doing this? Technically, if he's facing me, I'm just going to do, I always mess it up, stage left, stage right, whatever. Let's do Command X. And let's just make that the left eye for now. Go back to lines. Now, if you look, this is um, not even a full drawn out eye there. So let's cut that. I'm going to go and make that the right eye. All right. So while we're here, a couple of things I want to show you. Uh, I did draw this out with a pencil tool. So I can come over here at the lines. And if I decided to change the width of this, I can, which we're not going to. I'm just going to go ahead and put that back to where it was which I landed on eight. Uh, I was trying to do, 
I am a sucker for doing really thick lines. I was trying to do the thin three line that is all the rage, pretty much anything that's done with, um, I think like Bob's Burgers, all of those guys, they're using like a three. I tried it and I didn't like it. So I'm just using a eight. So what I need to do is finish this particular Speaking of, I was talking about three so much, I was actually doing a three. Okay. So what I need to do is go ahead. I'm going to hold on my command and option keys. I'll be control alt on PC. I'm just going to rotate the screen a little bit. So I can draw a little bit better. Da, 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 da. Wow, my drawing is looking like I've had way too much caffeine. Okay. And let's stretch that one out. Looks good. And I'm not really cleaning up yet. Let's do Shift X to kick it back to normal. All right, so. <clears throat> Go back to lines and we'll grab the ear. I'm gonna hold on my command key just to get the arrow key real quick. And we'll do command X, grab the ear, and we'll go to what's on there, paste. So one thing I did not do, let's go back to the lines area. I didn't grab the head. Um, technically, for right now, this is going to be kind of weird, but what I want to do is make the head kind of like this big exclamation point. So what I want to do is going to grab most of this here. Technically, the eyebrows need to be on their own layer. So we'll cut that. And I'm going to make another layer, we'll call it the head, say add and close, paste. Now, I'm gonna zoom in here, just using my little scroll wheel. And I'll grab my, where's my contour editor? There we are. Contour editor, I can pretty much grab this point, drag it down. So we're lining up there and kind of close that off a little bit. Let's grab pencil and I'm going to close off this other side as well. That line is really nasty, but I'm going to cheat a little bit here. I'm going to do, I think it's option shift S, alt shift S on PC, which was basically smoothing out that line because I drew it really nasty. Okay, so what I wanna do next, I'm going to create a few things here. So there's the way that's going to look. And I'm gonna go ahead and press the letter K, which is gonna show me my outlines. And I wanna close off a few things here. I'm gonna use what's called stroke. Now, I, I turned on the letter K just so I could see where the anchor points are, where the open, big open spots are in my drawing. So anywhere you see these little yellow blocks with red strokes around them, that means that that is open. And I'm not tightening these up just yet. But a couple of things I do wanna work on. Let's work on the nose. See if I can do this right. And connect these. I'm going to zoom in. And get these guys to connect a little bit. 
close as I can. So there's no holes there. So again, I'm just zooming in with my scroll wheel here. And the big one would probably be where the mouth is. Okay, so let's go to my pencil tool. Uh, hold on the right key. Let's hold on control. Actually, I'm doing something really bad. Okay, I should be using my outline tool here or my stroke. That's better. All right, so make sure these guys line up as close as they can. All right, I'm going to zoom out. Now, I'm going to see if I can get away with something here. I'm going to color this in. This is one of the reasons why I typically work with uh, paintbrush versus working with other pieces. I'm going to make him blue for a second. Let's just actually make that green. Oh, cool. That actually did work. Cool. <clears throat> Let's go to the nose. Good. That works. This is not going to be the color I'm using, but for all intents and purposes, or for all intents and purposes, see if it'll let me do this. Nope, it's saying I have a big hole. Well, yeah, there is a big hole in the, in the bottom of his neck. It's a gigantic hole. Okay. All right, let's see if it'll let me. Okay. Let's see if we can get away. I was filling this in a bit. I'm going to go over here to my properties, paint, and we'll say close large gap. Cool. Got that. All right. Now, We've gotten to a point, this is kind of ugly, but you'll see what I'm doing in a second here. Um, I am going to set up where my little uh, rotate points or my anchor points are right now. So let's see. I will give, let's do a stroke on the ear here. All right, fill this in. Looks good. And I'm not really worried about the eyes just yet, but I'll just do them for the heck of it. Give them the white of the eye. Now, a lot of this I'm just throwing in just to show you the whole little, uh, what we can do as far as bringing things forward and backward in Z space, so. I'll probably undo the, um, or rebuild the eyes later. But for now, I need them to at least look like I know what I'm doing. Okay, black is the center, great. Okay. So we got that going. So we'll zoom out. And got the nose, looks good. Mouth, good. Head is filled in. Great. Now, I'm going to go ahead and set up the pivot points. So I'll go to my rotate tool. And by default, everything is sitting at the center. So the rotate point for the ear probably needs to be right about. Right about dead center there. Eyes, I'm going to 
to place the pivot point at the base. That way I can control the uh, squash and stretch. Nose. Let's see. Right about there. Mouths. Okay, I always forget this. Mouth is, I think, at the top, because that, again, does a little, we can do squash and stretch there from the top of the mouth, because the jaw is going to be dropping down. And the head will bring us down to the base of the neck. Okay. So, um, if you're working with, if you're used to working with things like flash, um, you probably have to have a symbol or something like that to do what I'm about to do. Uh, these are just some drawings. I am not setting these up in a peg. Um, I do want to have a tutorial, not a tutorial. I'm probably going to be having a um, little gang hangout one day with some other Toon Boom artists that I know, artists and animators. And we're going to have that big conversation to peg or not to peg. Um, I typically, especially if I'm dealing with a hamburger client, I typically will not use pegs um, on every layer. I just go straight in, which is what I'm about to do. So what I want to do is grab the eye, both eyes. I'm going to hold on my shift key, the nose and the mouth. And I want to parent those to the head. So to do that, I'll simply click and drag right under the head. So you see that little line there? Let go of my mouse. Of course, I'm doing it and it didn't work. <laughs> Let's try it again. See so that little line there? Okay, that's what should happen. Okay, so, ah, oh, I need the ear too. So let's drag that under. Okay, and what should happen, I'm going to turn off my light table so you can see what this looks like. Um, so now, if I decide to grab the head, the reason we do this is if we grab the head and rotate the head, all those pieces should move with it. That's great, except uh, none of these pieces are in front, which is where I need them. Now you're looking at this and saying, okay, the head's up on top and the ear, right eye, left eye, nose, mouth, those are all under it as far as the layers are concerned. Now this was the question, I'm gonna jump back over here to my Photoshop real quick to make sure I'm reading this right. Um, this is what came from Eddie Barnes, and he's like, hey, I have the mouth is a child of the head, and you can try bringing forward and bring to front, and none of them, as it still never really worked. Okay, so here's what I want to make sure you are doing. Um, one, if you see this little red line around my camera view, this is important. If I move down to the timeline, that red line is now around my timeline. Now what I have set up under preferences, you need to make sure you would go to general and under options, it's uh, focus on mouse enter. I think it's in the same place in side of Harmony um, Premium, but what you're looking for is focus on mouse enter. Make sure that box is checked, okay? And even if it's not, in order to work with things, uh, bringing them forward and backward on your Z index, the camera view, one, has to be active, and two, you have to be using the transform tool. Okay? So I'm just going to do, I could actually do all of them at the same time, but I'm going to select the mouths layer. And just to make sure I'm clicking on, the, I'm in the right area, what you can do is just click once on the mouth and the camera view. So that is definitely saying the camera view is active. I'm going to hold on my option key, Alt on PC, and I'm going to use my arrow keys. So it's the down arrow, but look at it this way. It's the arrow that's pulling it toward you. You're pointing it toward you, saying, bring this forward. So I'm press down once. Okay. So even though the mouse is under the head, I just brought that forward in Z space. Same thing with the nose. Bring that forward. And just to show you, you can do all this at once. Hold on my shift key, and I'll grab the ear, right eye, and left eye. And again, you can see the camera view is active now because that red line is there. And even if, even if that wasn't, I didn't have that automatically turned on, I can click on just one part of that, which is the ear. 
hold on option, alt on PC, press down once. Okay, so all those are brought forward. Um, this is messing with me a little bit. Let's see. I need to, let's see. It's the left eye and the right eye. One, I'm going to adjust the height of the, which, which is in front here just by doing the layers. That looks better. But the nose, technically, I'm gonna move that in between the two. Okay, so part of that I did with uh, using the Z index, but so I didn't mess with that anymore. I went on and did the rest just by layers. And again, this is just temporary color, but all this works now, it looks a lot solid. Even though this is a solid line, you know that the head, if I turn this on solo, the head is a solid line straight through. But by setting it up and playing around with our, our Z index there, um, that's moving things forward and backward in our 3D space, it kind of worked out. So yeah, this is uh, the little character that I'm working on. I have no idea what his name is. Matter of fact, that's your homework. If you want to comment, leave comments in the and leave comments below. Hey, what should this dude's name be? What should he sound like? Where is he from? All the other fun stuff. But the bottom line is I wanted to just kind of create a really simple looking character. Um, I really got to work on his eyebrows, but that's another story. Anyway. So that's breaking this up into layers, and I want to keep going with this throughout the week uh, because we are really close to um, an awesome little, what is that, landmark, landmine, no? What is that, goal? I don't know, something, benchmark? Anyway, <laughs> we're about to hit 3,000 members on, or 3,000 subscribers on YouTube. It's been a long time because we've had a lot of feast and famine, had a lot of things I was going through but getting back into doing stuff. So what I want to share with you guys is we are doing what's called a thunderclap. Um, let me explain. Thunderclap is a, a platform. It's like a crowdfunding, but it's cheer funding. It doesn't cost money, but if you have a Twitter pay or Twitter uh, page or Facebook page, what we're asking is that you help us tweet this message um, and you sign up for our Thunderclap. It's not public yet, but uh, we'll be um, post posting up the link for it later. But what Thunderclap does is once you pledge and say, yes, I will pledge that I will let this get posted on my Facebook page or on my Twitter page on the 16th of March, let's say at noon. That's probably, probably when it will be. But basically, this is what we're going to be doing. Um, in celebration of our 3,000th person, we're going to be releasing uh, one of our most popular characters. Uh, this is a rig camper. And we're going to be releasing her for free. And we're going to also give you guys a short little video tutorial on how to ac actually use it. But she works in Toon Boom Essentials as well as premium and her eyes, mouth, and all that other stuff that actually works. So we're going to be giving that rig away for free. It is not available right now. And I know it sounds crazy, but yeah, we probably will only do it for a short amount of time, but we're going to be releasing that on March the 16th. Now, here's where you guys come in. If we can have 100 people tweet this at the same time. It's not just one or two people tweeting it whenever. It's a thunderclap. It all happens at one big noisy time and everyone's going, dude, get this free Toon Boom character rig and that will help us out a lot. So anyway, that's what's going on. Um, again, we'll be posting more information about this later uh, once it gets approved. Uh, we just submitted it today to Thunderclap and hopefully they'll kick us back in approval. As soon as they give us the go ahead, we'll be putting that out. So we need at least 100 people to help us spread the word. Hey, if you've never heard of Thunderclap, hey, go check it out, it's pretty cool. Thunderclap.it. Anyway, this has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Remember,
Keep it simple. Make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea. So um, we're going to be getting into a little more of uh, rigging this dude later and uh, showing you exactly what we can do as far as adding bones and working on lip sync and eye blinks and all other fun stuff. So you'll see me building this from scratch. Anyway, have a good one. Thank you. I'm still recording.